Hello dear students. In today's class we will understand fourth part of the prose Mauritius written by R.K. Lakshman. Please open your textbook students. Page number 25 paragraphs 14 and 15. My wife and I not being aquatic we watch with amusement the avidity of the tourist from all parts of the world extracting every bit of fun that the magnificent beach could yield. We step into a glass bottom boat carefully without getting our feet wet and go on a cruise to observe submerged coral reefs and marine life. I see seashells on yellow sands. To start with, little undefinable creatures, stray bits of seaweed float by. Alarmed crabs scurry for shelter. Then comes the skeleton-like formation of coral. The sea deepens. Pale green bushes, slimy white blobs big as pumpkins, lobsters, slithering snaky forms. Please look at meanings of new words. Avidity, eagerness, magnificent, splendid or impressive. Cruise, sail or travel by boat. Undefinable, not easily put into words. Seaweed is a green, brown or dark red plant that grows in the sea or on land very close to the sea. Scurry, move hurriedly. Moving on to the explanation. Aquatic means people who live at the water side. The author and his wife not aquatics. Not aquatics means not restricted to living in water or at the water side. The author and his wife not aquatics but still they watch with great interest how the tourist from different places of the world eagerly bringing out every bit of fun. They stepped into a glass bottom boat and went on a cruise to observe submerged coral reefs. Submerged means underwater underwater coral reefs and marine life. Coral reefs are underwater structures built by tiny sea creatures. Some aquatic creatures cited by the author are seashells, crabs, lobsters, snaky forms and fishes. They also observed the skeleton-like formation of coral, pale green bushes, slimy white blobs big as pumpkins. Now please look at 16 paragraph. As the boat moves further into the sea, the scene below turns airy. Among the jagged rocks, the coral jungle becomes dense and huge and is draped with the brownish moss. I see shapeless ugly creatures crawling in the dark depths of the sea covers. I feel unblinking eyes are watching us from the below the giant mushroom like growth all over. Headless animals pretending to be plants stuck in one place sway from side to side in a ghostly manner. A cold shiver runs down my spine. Meanings of new words Eerie, strange in a mysterious way. Jagged, rough and with sharp points. Dense, close together so that it is difficult to go or see. Moss, a very small green and yellow plant that grows especially on wet rocks or walls. Pretend, act. Moving on to the explanation. In this paragraph, the writer says, as the boat moved further into the sea, the scene below made him to feel strange in a mysterious way. On a cruise, in a glass bottom boat, deep in the sea, among the jagged rocks, the coral jungle becomes dense and huge, draped with the brownish moss. The author gets to see shapeless ugly creatures crawling and he felt like Unblinking eyes are watching them from below the giant mushroom. The author is 
very afraid to see headless animals pretending to be plants sway from side to side in a ghostly manner a cold shiver runs down my spine is a phrase used to say that someone feels very thrilled frightened etc here the author is very scared and thrilled to see creatures under water now please look at 17th paragraph all of a sudden standing out against the darkness a school of fish colored bright lemon yellow with black bars all along their sides pass majestically by cheering up the whole world of overwhelming gloom further on i see the coral branches tipped with a peculiar blue light like hundreds of candles dying out plenty of colors coming now violet yellow pink green post box red fishes with hideous spikes all over their body fishes with long tails fishes with battered faces all of them with the damned look of condemned souls criss cross our path in a weird twilight against a nightmarish landscape meanings of new words overwhelming very large or huge gloomy sadness and without hope hideous very ugly criss cross to move or exist in a pattern of lines crossing something or each other moving on to the explanation as the author and his wife move forward a school of fish passes in front of them it seems to them they came to cheer up a bored world without hope further on they saw the coral branches tipped with a peculiar blue light like hundreds of candles dying out and also with different colors like violet yellow pink green and post box red they also observed different types of fishes like fishes with hideous spikes all over their body fishes with long tails and fishes with battered faces the writer says all of them criss cross the path in a weird twilight against a nightmarish landscape so why did the writer use the word nightmare the people are watching these sea creatures so the writer says it's like a nightmare for them so they are moving weirdly against a nightmarish landscape nightmare is a frightening or unpleasant dream or experience when all the people come and see these sea creatures it seems to the author that they all get scared and going in a weird manner against a nightmarish landscape twilight is the light from the sky between full night and sunrise or between sunset and full night now please look at last three paragraphs 18 to 20 fastening my seat belt preparing for my return flight i vaguely think of the future of mauritius will it be able to preserve its pristine charm it has no population problem now with its 8 lakhs 50000 people evenly spread over there is hardly any unemployment question yet people seem to live fairly well at all levels the government is aware of all these advantages but seems to feel a certain nervousness about an economy so dependent basically on a single commodity sugar so it is eager to have foreign entrepreneurs start their industries here with industrial growth the living space will shrink cars and trucks will increase their roads will have to be widened to take the load the price of land will go up and flats will appear cost of living population unemployment slums taxation controls oh all these thoughts come to me from force of habit an enlightened people can of course 
guide themselves away from all such evils and still preserve this paradise on earth. I turn hopefully to the window for clouds to entertain me. But the sun has set. It is dark outside and I shall be in India in a few hours. Please look at meanings of new words. Pristine in original condition. Entrepreneur, a person who sets up a business or business person. Enlighten, to explain the true facts about something to someone. Paradise, heaven. Moving on to the explanation. There are many thoughts that came in the mind of the author when he leaves Mauritius. He thinks about its future. There is neither population problem nor unemployment problem in Mauritius. The writer had the thought that whether this island preserve its original condition in future. This island basically dependent on single commodity sugar. Though it is eager to have foreign entrepreneurs start their industries here but the chances are of increasing cost of living, pollution, unemployment, slums, taxation, controls, etc. As industries increase, the living space will shrink. Cars and trucks will increase. The roads will have to be widened to take the load. The price of land will go up and flats will appear. The writer thinks about whether it will be the same pristine if there is industrialization and foreign entrepreneurship. He is worried that if there is increase in industries, then the serene beauty of Mauritius would be lost. Dear students, in today's class, we have completed the prose Mauritius, written by R. K. Lakshman. Let me ask you a few questions to know how much you have understood. First one, name some aquatic creatures cited by the author. Some aquatic creatures cited by the author are crabs, lobsters, snaky forms and fishes. Second one, what kind of fishes did the author see? The author saw fishes with hideous spikes all over their body, fishes with long tails and fishes with battered faces. Third one, what color did the author see in the coral branch? The author saw the coral branches tipped with a peculiar blue light like hundreds of candles dying out. He saw plenty of colors, violet, yellow, pink, green and post box red. I hope you all have answered correctly. Well done students. Dear students, now I am going to end up this class. Bye for now. Thank you. Have a nice day.